What happens if someone fresh, someone willing to change the rules, takes over the boxing world instead of the legends who created it? What if your favorite sport is set to undergo a permanent transformation that not everyone is welcoming? We're going to dive into the subject that has the boxing community abuzz right now a tale with big names, enormous paydays, and more drama than we've seen in a long time. Might this signal the end of boxing, as we know it, or the start of something entirely new? Let's investigate. First up is Virgil Ortiz Jr., a young, ambitious fighter whose name you have undoubtedly heard a lot lately. This guy has been making waves, particularly after his recent victory over Serhi Bohachuk. However, here's the question on everyone's mind, is Ortiz really prepared to face Terence Bud Crawford, one of the world's most lethal fighters? Fans are excited about the fight, but there are also a lot of doubts surrounding it. Even Bernard Hopkins, a man who understands the sport inside and out, has strong feelings about this. But what if there's more to this matchup than just the fight itself? What if it's part of a grander scheme to shake up the entire boxing world? There's no denying Ortiz's talent. He has that raw power and aggression that grabs attention. The issue, though, is that Crawford is not your average fighter. With a combination of skill, strategy, and experience, he has defeated opponents for years, making him a seasoned champion. Bernard Hopkins, having seen it all in his illustrious career, believes Ortiz isn't quite ready for this level of competition. Hopkins says that talent alone isn't enough time, strategy, and knowing when you're truly prepared to face the best are just as important. So why is Ortiz's potential bout with Crawford generating so much buzz right now? Enter Turkey Alik, a new player in the boxing scene who has been making some bold moves. Alik isn't your typical promoter he has the resources to pull off major events and isn't afraid to shake things up. But here's where it gets tricky Hopkins and other insiders think Alik might be moving too fast, making decisions based on financial gain rather than the best interests of the fighters. Hopkins, never one to hold back, has openly questioned whether Alik truly understands what it takes to build these matchups correctly. Think about this boxing isn't just about putting two fighters in a ring and letting them go at it. It's about the build-up, the story, and the journey that leads to that moment. You can't just throw fighters into the ring because it sounds good on paper Hopkins asserts. There's much more at stake here. He worries that rushing Ortiz into a fight with Crawford could be a grave mistake, potentially ending Ortiz's career before it even takes off. And Hopkins isn't the only one with this concern. Ortiz's trainer, Robert Garcia, has also voiced his worries, acknowledging the risks of pushing Ortiz into a high-stakes fight too soon. Now, imagine yourself in Ortiz's shoes. You're a young fighter with dreams of being the best, and now there's talk of a massive fight with one of the sport's biggest names, Terence Crawford. The payday could be life-changing money that could alter your entire future. But is the risk worth it? Is it wise to step into the ring before you're fully prepared? All for the chance of a big payout? It's no wonder Ortiz's team is being cautious. They understand the dangers and the potential pitfalls. However, money has a way of making things happen in the boxing world, even when it's not always the smartest move. And this is where the story gets even more interesting. Hopkins isn't just concerned about Ortiz, he's worried about the future of boxing as a whole. Hopkins, a man who has seen the highs and lows of the sport, has long been one of boxing's most respected voices. But with Alik and other new big names entering the scene, Hopkins feels like his beloved sport is slipping away from him. Boxing has been my life, but the way things are going, I'm starting to think it might be time for me to step away, he says. Hopkins isn't just talking about leaving the ring, he's talking about leaving a sport that's being taken over by people who might not truly understand it. But let's not forget the fans, the people who make all of this possible. What do they want? According to Hopkins, the fight that really makes sense isn't Ortiz vs. Crawford, but Crawford vs. Jaron Boots Ennis. Ennis has been steadily rising through the ranks, establishing himself as one of the division's most formidable contenders. Hopkins believes this fight would truly test Crawford, and fans have been eagerly awaiting this showdown. But will this fight happen? Or will it get lost in the shuffle with all the money and power swirling around? Here's where the plot thickens enter Oscar De La Hoya. Unlike Hopkins, De La Hoya is fully on board with Alik and is using his financial muscle to set up some of the most anticipated fights in modern boxing. De La Hoya isn't afraid to put fighters in situations that might not be in their best interest, he's all about making the biggest fights with the biggest paydays. Consider the potential matchup between William Zapita and Shakur Stevenson. With Alik's financial backing, De La Hoya is all in on making this fight happen, knowing it could be a massive event. But are these fighters ready for this kind of fight at this stage in their careers? 
De La Hoya doesn't seem too concerned. He's focused on the bottom line, and if the money's there, he's willing to make it happen. Another big name caught in the middle of this shifting landscape is Canelo Alvarez. De La Hoya has publicly expressed his frustration with Alvarez's recent decisions, particularly his reluctance to take on David Benavides. To De La Hoya, this suggests that Alvarez might be more interested in protecting his record than in taking on the toughest challenges. When I was coming up in boxing, you didn't price yourself out of fights because you didn't want to fight De La Hoya says. It's disappointing that Canelo isn't willing to face the best. So where does that leave us? Boxing as a sport is at a crossroads. On one side, you have traditionalists like Hopkins, who believe fighters should be developed properly and that the right fights should be made at the right times. On the other side, you have the new wave, led by people like Turkey Alik and supported by promoters like De La Hoya, who are focused on the financial potential of the sport. Caught in the middle are the fighters themselves, like Virgil Ortiz, who must decide whether to chase immediate glory or take their time to properly prepare for the challenges ahead. The stakes are enormous. Ortiz's potential step into the ring with Crawford could be a turning point in his career for better or worse. A Crawford vs. Ennis matchup could be one of the most exciting bouts in recent memory. And if money continues to dictate the sport, we might see more and more fights being made for financial reasons rather than because they're the best fights. But think about this what happens if this new approach to boxing backfires. What if fighters are pushed into bouts they're not ready for, leading to more one-sided contests and shortened careers? What if the sport becomes less about skill, preparation, and strategy and more about spectacle? It's this fear that's making Hopkins consider stepping away. He's devoted his life to boxing, but he doesn't want to see it change beyond recognition. So where do you stand? Do you think the changes Turkey Alik is bringing to boxing are a good thing, or do you believe the sport is heading in the wrong direction? Do you think Virgil Ortiz is ready for Terence Crawford, or should he wait and prepare a bit longer? And what about the money? Should it really have that much influence over the decisions made in our beloved sport? These are tough questions, but the answers will shape the future of boxing. We'll all have to wait and see if these changes are for the better or worse, but one thing is certain things are changing. The future of boxing will be determined by the actions of fighters, promoters, and influential figures like Turkey Alik, and the stakes are high. So, what are your thoughts? Let's continue this conversation by sharing your opinions in the comments below. Boxing is at a pivotal moment, and what happens next depends on all of us. Let's take a closer look at why so many within the boxing community are worried. Hopkins isn't just some retired boxer with an opinion he's a legend. A man who has seen every aspect of the sport, from the bright lights of title fights to the gritty undercard bouts. When he speaks, people listen. And when Hopkins warns that pushing Ortiz into a fight with Crawford might be a career-ending mistake, it's not something to take lightly. Despite his talent and promise, Ortiz is still developing. He's a fighter who has shown both brilliance and vulnerability at different times. And those vulnerabilities could be exploited by a fighter like Crawford, potentially altering Ortiz's career path forever. Crawford is a master at finding and exploiting weaknesses. He's a fighter who can adapt mid-fight, turning an opponent's strengths against them. For Ortiz, stepping into the ring with Crawford isn't just a fight, it's a test of whether he's ready to swim with the sharks in the deep end. But this isn't just about one fight. The bigger picture here is the direction the sport is heading. Hopkins and many others share his concern that boxing is becoming too focused on money and not enough on the sport itself. The worry is that fighters are being pushed into dangerous situations before they're ready, not because it's the best thing for their careers, but because the money is too good to pass up, and that's a dangerous path for the sport to go down. This is about more than just protecting fighters, it's about preserving the integrity of boxing. When fights are made primarily for financial reasons rather than what's best for the fighter's development, the sport suffers, the fans suffer, and ultimately, the fighters themselves suffer. Because no amount of money is worth sacrificing a promising career. Take Canelo Alvarez, who has been criticized for not taking on the toughest challenges available to him. De La Hoya has been vocal about his frustration with Alvarez's reluctance to face David Benavidez, a fight many consider to be one of the best in boxing today. But Alvarez's critics argue that he's more interested in protecting his record and earning potential than improving himself against the best. And that's a problem not just for Alvarez but for boxing as a whole. Because what's left of the sport if maintaining records takes precedence over facing the best? What happens to the excitement, the anticipation, the sense that history is being made in the ring? These are the questions driving the current debate in boxing. And there are no easy answers. 
But it's not all doom and gloom. There's still a lot of potential for the future of boxing. The next generation of fighters is beginning to emerge, led by Jaron Boots Ennis, who isn't afraid to take on challenges and test himself against the best. These fighters are a reminder of what boxing is really about the best fighting the best, with the winner determined solely by skill and willpower. So, what will happen to Virgil Ortiz? His career is at a crossroads, and he has some tough decisions to make. Does he take on Crawford, knowing the risks, but also aware of the potential rewards? Or does he continue to build his career by taking on challenges that will prepare him for a future showdown with Crawford or someone else? It's a difficult choice, and it will shape the direction of his career.